in a group of videos that's very planned out. I wanted to do something different, but stay the same. So we're going to do this with no plans, just straight off the head, and we'll just see what we can end up doing during the 100 days. So let's get right into day one. So we're going to go for a more like paradise jungle type theme. The last time we had a medieval, but I'm not going to do that again. It just ended up getting boring. I do it every time. So now that we got an upgrade, we can go down to the mines and start to get our first couple bits of iron so we can hopefully defeat this game by at least day 60. So most of this early part of it is going to be a lot of villagers getting them and trapping them. So we can do that earlier so we can get it out the way. And most importantly, we can just get like the building blocks. This mining adventure is the most to get our stuff just settled. And we hopefully don't have to spend a lot of time in it later. So we can actually get our armor up and we can get this done so we don't have to worry about it anymore later mining we actually hit the peak of it finding our first diamond of the series and i'm not sure what we're going to use for it right now but that's just something we have to worry about later. now that we got our diamond we can start exploring this place and hopefully get out here by at least day two maybe day three but let's get right into it day two was spent mostly in the mine we had we we actually found this one mine shaft and later on near this place there's a diamond around here somewhere that was the end of our little mining spree we got some stuff to start off and most importantly we just got got through it so we don't have to spend like the first 20 days in the mine just trying to get our diamond armor back so then we just got straight out to the mine. We found this. We found this jungle, which could be a place where we settle. Not exactly right here because all the bamboo is just gonna get in the way. Then we got our first dog of the playthrough. It's the jungle type. So hopefully we can get all of them before the end of this episode. But this one's just gonna be special. And I'm trying to get. I'm gonna try to get some name tags for him, but that's gonna be way later on. On day five, we found our village, ended up getting two villagers into the pen, which we have some problems about them getting to breed, but let's figure that out. Pretty sure it's off camera. We get our bamboo set up so we can trade sticks to them, which, which is a big part of getting our emeralds. And we should be getting our first one very, very soon. We get our second villager into the pen pretty quickly, which surprisingly it was not a struggle like it usually is and it took probably five minutes to get both of them in which is good a lot of these village out, villagers out here actually lasted a lot longer than i thought they would and they might become useful later then near like day seven we started getting some sheep into this pen we got two sheeps two cows and they're going to be useful for later it was a pain to get them in because they just kept running out and they just walked away for no reason, which is why I did most of this off camera, just because how annoying it is. You can see how they're pushing each other out, just, but it took a little bit more, and we eventually got both of them back in. We, al we almost got a, pretty sure a villager walked in here, and we got him into the pen, which we should see soon, when we get our first emerald. Yep, we get our sticks from here. And we, we get our first emerald of this playthrough. Set up some beds over here. Which is, this is the problem why they weren't breeding. They couldn't sleep. Which, they're probably like distressed. That's what I'm guessing about. Then we get our first diamond tool. Which is this axe. Which is probably the best thing we could have got. It helps us cut down trees quicker. Which help it, helps us get sticks more. Which helps us get some more emeralds. This is where we figure out about the beds, placing them here. We got our first baby villager. Then we, had, then we actually found two cats in this boat. Then we get our first piece of diamond armor. 
being the, these diamond boots that I try to show off, I did a very bad day 16th or 18th. We take a break from the villagers to expand our to expand our farm and go exploring for a savanna, which you can see right here. I'm just trying to get some wolf armor. We forgot we needed a brush, so we ended up getting all the materials for it. It didn't take very long, and before we knew it, we ended up getting our first bit of scoot. Later, I'm going to grab an armadillo so we can get unlimited wolf armor, but that's for another day. Now, we got our first little bit of wolf armor, and we just put it right on there. Later, we should dye it, and we just get a little bit of customization. Day 20, we got a diamond pickaxe from the trade we got earlier and we went straight to get some obsidian it just di didn't take too long and after we got obsidian we ended up finding a perfect place to put our starter base and to expand from that okay right here we're gonna just put our put stuff right here and it's an island which is pretty useful it has like a carve in the middle which we can just put like a little bridge right there and it just it's a good place to start off for a more tropical feeling later we got started on some sort of base getting the dog in it didn't take very long it's not a very difficult build it's it's gonna be where we start branching off from here and it just helps us get more on the water which is useful we remember to light it up and after we do this we we st we actually start to make our portal that we got earlier but we had to go back to get a flint and steel because i just had none of the materials for it now that we got it we go straight into the nether having the worst spawn ever so we go i go to get some stuff to make a bridge and we can we see that nether port over there nether fortress but that is the look it's kind of looking it's kind of not it's like a double-edged sword but later so we actually found this mangrove sapling it might be useful for what we're doing it's more like a redwood and right now we're doing like a beige orange thing but it could be good for like some type of contrast but after this we go straight to the nether falling right into lava which is a pain we spend the next couple of days getting all our stuff back we come back stronger with our our villagers getting the first part of our diamonds then later we eventually end up getting the rest of it which does last us like 20 days before we eventually have another accident happen but all this day we're just getting suited up so you don't have to see that then we get away from that and we start making a bridge to connect our island and the main island just for convenience which it comes and handle a lot and you can see this design that I'm going to use around everywhere. It being, it's the stripped uh, oak with the uh, oak and jungle mixture. But then we actually end up bridging right towards the blaze rods. Which I did forget to record it. So we end up getting 30. Because each time we forgot, we actually went back to do it again. Which took three times. I tried to do something new with this it being more cut up like it goes straight to when I, was, when I was killing another blaze so it didn't it doesn't take very long and it's just something new these blaze rods we're gonna hopefully we should use them real soon all of these blaze rods should come in handy so we don't have to come back here very soon the next time hopefully should is be when we're gonna get the skulls so it's gonna probably be something like this. I didn't want to have a lot of stuff about it. Then we went immediately to getting stone to make our bridge safer so we don't keep falling off of it. Which it was stressful, but it had it was pretty easy. And the good thing is this can be blown up by a gas, which makes us completely safe and just better. A lot of this just being me protecting myself from myself. So I just don't run completely off. Then we start bridging towards the actual islands. Which if we have a blue crimson forest. 
a warped word for something like that, which has a lot of endermen, which should help us get st straight to the end real soon. We went straight to getting the endermen. It didn't take very long, just about day 35 to 36. This isn't all of it. Luckily, we did end up getting out of the end and was able to do some other stuff, which is we expend, expanded the bridge to put a boat, boat there later. Man, that should not have came out so bad, but I'm not going to redo it. So day 37 through 38, that's when we actually ex expand the bridge. We do it from right here, and we're just going to put a type of boat I'm going to show you guys later, which I have been working on in my free time. And hopefully it should fit in. Then, then later in the day, we got straight to getting our ender eyes. Hopefully we get enough to actually make the portal. But if not, I probably just look for Enderman off camera. So it's this way. Hopefully it's not very far. We can get right there. So it, we we didn't spend very long looking for it. It's a lot on boat, and it's only about a thousand blocks away, which isn't bad. And we can do most of it. In the middle of it, we find this abandoned ship, which only has this buried treasure and about some iron other ways. Then we actually found we found the structure pretty quickly. And we got straight to it. It did it did take a while to actually find the portal, but when we do that, we found a we found a couple diamonds out there, which is pretty useful. What I found was like that. I ran right past a dungeon mix, but then we immediately went found the end portal. We just have to get past this silverfish, and hopefully we end up not having enough. We just need two more, but we end up finding, uh, we find, we end up finding a pearl super close to this, so we're able to jump right into it, and hopefully this doesn't end up being two so day 39 through 41 it's just me fighting the ender dragon i thought it was we go straight into getting all the ender eyes done it didn't take very long and the reason it took like two days is because i just kept dying from the stupidest stuff mostly me falling me just getting flown in the air i died a couple times by the breath but we ended up getting the we kill we ended up killing him Getting all on camera this time. This is a lot more climactic than the last time I did this on camera. It all got corrupted. But this time we actually see it. And we end up going straight to the end islands. Trying to find a city. It took forever to even find one. And the one we found ended up only having shulkers in it. Which, yeah, we find these. this one. We go through the whole thing. That kill all the shulkers. And not a single chest anywhere. Which was annoying, and we ended up we ended up going through the whole thing again. Just we only got about four shulker shells uh, through all that, which it, it's not very worth it. We almost died a couple times, but I guess we made it through. That's technically a thing, and we just go straight on looking for more. Then we. Then a couple seconds later, we fall straight into the end, stopping our end adventures. And then we find this new dog, which it's a new type. So we, so we try to get it. We eventually actually do get it with the last bone, which is pretty useful. Then we go straight to getting a horse. I tried a couple, but I just brought in the one that actually worked, because the other ones in here were super slow and just painful. Now that we have a horse, we, we start working on a path to get there and back. So I just started carving this place out, trying to get it look overgrown like, but still being useful. It This took about 30 days in total, day and night, which it was, it's, it is one of the bigger projects we have done, which isn't a very high bar, but we end up going right through it, finishing it near the end of day 48 i think or the beginning of day 48 something like that and we actually get we get all of it done and we just run through it showing the overgrownness 
and how we just we just went through kind of going with the thing we have some parts that go down which is pretty useful and we actually end up making it go straight to our bridge we made earlier which is pretty useful and we're gonna have parts diverting from it we make our first thing diverting from it this being our it, this is gonna be our mine entrance I wanted it to look broken down and I didn't know how to do that with like an entrance without without a cave so my first idea was it w was a well so we first immediately went towards that I got the shape out and I just went to a cradle world and got it all together and we got we got all of it done like that so it, it does look broken we actually have a slab right there so we can get in and out of it super easier it's probably going to be bubble columns going up and down just so we can get in and in and out of it so then after i do this i go straight on day 50. i go looking for the dogs i lost them earlier and i just didn't tell you about it so, but we did end up finding them real easy it took a took us about a day and we just end up going straight back finding this villager outpost which we might use later probably not but it's there and next we go looking for a pumpkin to start making a farm we find this one so we we put this place right here diverting from the path which is going to be our farm area we're going to build like s silos but first we have to get this place just clear like we have to do everything because we decided to build in the jungle my f idea is it's going to be like a circle shape and it's just going to be real simple it's going to have that basic block pot i was talking about earlier so that's that's what about that's what it's going to go right there then, then we push that to a side around day 54 and we start working on to get our starter base good which i wasn't thinking the dogs were just in the way the whole time so i had to do that and you can see it's going to be more like a modern boat which is it's kind of i've never done it before which is i decided to do it it takes a couple of tries to get it in the right spot but we eventually do it and we just talk about what we're going to do with that and we get right so this is basically what we're going to go for of course having the skinny end where that's where the entrance is going to be and this is going to take a little bit but we're going to get right through it it's going to have blocks like quartz and conquer in it so it's going to be a pain and but we'll make it through on day, day 55 we get started off with the more quartz for our building because this one's going to take a lot of quartz but first let's do the upper deck we ended up using stone slabs as like a little rail railway which is an idea it will change over time as we get more and more boats but then we had to go to the nether to get more quartz but we ended up finding another nether fortress different from the one we found earlier and it ended up having some horse armor which we can see later it was diamond which helps mostly but more importantly we ended up getting about seven diamonds from this then we got brown mushrooms to brew potions later which i went all the way over here and i found some earlier like right by where we were which is something but then we just we ended up going right back to our place around day 60 i tried to grow the mushrooms but i ended up failing again and again i'm not sure why they won't grow i've tried everything and nothing has worked so i guess we're just kind of go looking for some puzzles sometime but that that can be up for another day so n then we ended up working on the yacht a little bit more perfecting some of the lower bits and finally putting the stairs in to get easy access to the upper and now these are in it should be easier to build the boat but then we had to go harvesting wood to get more emeralds which is just a big thing about this which is the reason we need to get brown mushrooms but then we got wheat so we can get farm villagers 
so we can get golden and carrots here real easy, which should be our food source for the rest of the build on this. We're gonna work on the more on the upper deck, getting our uh what is it called? Our um, upper place. But most importantly we got the bottom layer done. Ended up getting like our glass in. But then we when we started burning again, we got our burning stand. We went straight trying to get those brown mushrooms to grow. Ended up digging a seven by seven hole, which it never worked. And I got distracted and started working on a mine. I have an idea to like dig a hole straight down and to and to like get bubbles going up, but I'm not sure exactly how, how that's gonna look because we actually hit multiple caves going down here, which took a pain. I died multiple times from drowning and from a skeleton once. But then we ended up going to the nether to get some magma block. Then we go get a, get some soul stand, which we had to go to the nether fortress to get. So it took a little bit. And we finally put it all together into the well. I'm not sure how it looks because water in the abandoned well doesn't exactly look the best. But I'm just going to think it over and we'll see what we can do. Day 70, we finally managed to get a villager over to our main compound, turning him into a Fletcher, and getting other stuff done with him way later. But then, we actually started working on a bridge to put our main part in our other villager area, just to make it more connected, just to stop that pain of trying to cross the water with that horse every single time. Even though the stuff we've known the horse ha has made it better, but this just is, is it has to be done, and it is it got done. We're using the basic ward palette. We've used the jungle with a little bit of oak to show like a little bit aging, and it, we we're gonna tear that down in a little bit. But right now we don't have to worry about it. And then we need spider eyes so we can start. Working on our villagers even more, we we got really unlucky, and it took me about the whole night to even get like four spider eyes, which it's gonna be a pain, and we're gonna have to fix that soon. Hopefully with like a spider spawner, but that's just a problem of later on. So now that we got these eyes, we can put them in our in our burning stand and just get them in here. We actually finally got the villager in the hole. This is painful. We we were chasing around the island for probably five ten minutes, but now we can get our weakness potions and our apple. <laughs> so let's just wait for night, so we can get the villager cured and ready, just to get our better discounts. Day seventy three. I actually forgot to get the footage of the uh, zombie falling in the hole, but we do have the footage of the him coming back from being dead, and we we saved about eight sticks on that which isn't much and it's going to be a way bigger difference later on but mostly we're going to push this to the out to the wayside and start finally she finishing our, the bottom of our boat then going to the top of it and just giving our little top bit of our boat some shape and hopefully get getting on with it this has taken a while but you know, we decided to use the worst blocks to do this with. So, we're just going to have to d take what we sell. You can see in the background, we only have like one chunk loaded. Not sure why my computer does that, but it does. So, you might see that a little bit, and I've not found a way to fix it. We just put a little bit of touches in them last, and now that's most of it done. We're going to put some changes to it on and on but mostly that's the shape and that's just how it's gonna look we add, we put some railing right here and we can finally sleep in a new house we had to get all this water out of the bottom deck which was a pain but we just ended up using jungle logs because we j we just have a lot of that from all these all these trees i've been cutting down and it's just the most abundant resource that we don't have sponges yet. So now we actually start to do some more farming in our little area. We we ended up getting about this ends up getting us about like a 
half a stack of wheat. It's not the best, and we can expand it soon. But right now, it'll work. We're not working on villagers, so we don't need that much wheat. And we can just start working on how we use it. So this was day 75. And we... I'm not sure why I put the pumpkins like this. I guess it was technically better, but it's just more annoying. So I take all that down. And I just put it how it usually should be. Just took me a little bit. And overall, it's a lot easier to get. But I'm thinking later on we can have like an automatic farm under this. Just to start making a lot of more pumpkins quicker and easier. I'm not sure how to do that, but right now we don't have to worry. We just have to get an actual farm. Day 76, we start working on our little... Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm just gonna like a little silo So we just work in the roof first because we actually had the blocks for that Which this roof is pre-built on another world just to make sure I don't really mess up It's not that really difficult. I just keep falling off and I'm pretty sure eventually I get blown up by a creeper So that that set us back But we got through it we still need to light this place up. We never get to that. But that can just be something else. Alright. This roof. Once again we're using that wood and jungle mix. And it's not that large. It's just mostly a spiked roof. And with just a couple changes. And. The thing is we use mostly oak for this roof. And wood. So we go, we go and start actually to get some copper so we can make sure this thing does not burn down. Which takes us a little bit because we just have none. But we find some in the river and we just get this copper rod in. Now we actually get, we get this, we're starting to, we're starting to finish these little stuff we start. Because I started this while I was doing something else for some reason. Which, I just can't pay really much attention. So now, we get the blocks to start to... Oh yeah, I know. We, we look for some podsol, which we need spruce, which we found right here. And we just, we're going to need silk touch for that later. And we don't have an enchanting setup yet because we're just, we're not really planning anything. We're just playing the game and see how much we can do. We got all this. We just need like four thing, four saplings, which we get pretty quickly. And I'm not I'm not sure if we're gonna actually start doing my idea. I'm gonna show you what it is soon, but it's just a little bit for texturing. And we finally make our way back home, and just a little bit. We don't have a, I don't really have a sense of direction, so. That was a pain. So now if you put these four together and bone meal it, we should get a quick and easy a butt of apostle. I just I try I couldn't even find the bones there in my inventory. I'm not sure why that happened. But it doesn't matter. And we get all this puzzle. Now we just don't have a way to pick it up. So at least we can grab brown mushrooms quickly. Which was what this was all for. And we're just going to work on that later. We actually get a kind of a frame up. This is going to change a lot. It's not all going to be jungle but. It's just something we needed to do. And I'm going to put some oak in here. Some like stripped logs to make it look battered up. And. I want to use like the tops of the mushrooms as a little bit of patterns and texture in it. But I actually had a quick idea to put like a to set section it off and put like a strip, like a strip around it, just to make it look a bit more interesting. This part is not planned out at all, and mostly I just add stuff that I think will look good. It eventually started to look good, and we just we don't finish it. We we have this kind of thing. 
It could be bigger, but it's just to hold all our stuff over here. Like all our pumpkins and wheat. So it doesn't have to be very too good. So we actually start using some fences on the side just to give it a little more pizzazz. I'm not sure why I didn't use the oak fences in my inventory, but I guess I just wasn't thinking. I, I'm planning to, to stretch these fences around it. I just have not got to it quite yet. And eventually we're gonna get that done. I'm not sure when. I have a problem with starting stuff and just not finishing it. Hope this building should be finished by the time we're done. But it's not a guarantee. This, it's gonna be kind of finished. We're gonna have all our stuff in it. And that's what's mostly important, honestly. Then we actually start putting some texturing in. And let's we put some stairs in it. So we can actually get the floors on. I don't one thing I did do is I put the slabs like on the part where the block couldn't place it. I'm not sure why, but I did. So that's something I'm gonna have to fix just off camera. Just cause it's a pain and everything's floating. So that's a little bit of a problem, but it's not a problem you guys have to really worry about. It's mostly a physical thing. Near like near day 80, we actually started to get more obsidian. Which, honestly, I don't remember why. What do we need this for? I should know that, but I don't. So, I'm going to go check. This obsidian, it's going to be used so we can actually start enchanting. Originally, I started this so we can get some silk touch. But, it's we're just going to throw it down somewhere right now so it doesn't really matter where you put it because I'm gonna strip it up real soon and actually make an error for it I had an idea to go to the uh, stronghold so we can so we can actually just use the books there that's something I always do and it's just a lot quicker than getting all that shirt cane and leather I'm not sure why people do that and we quickly just oh Oops, we got, we got about 30 stacks of books, which that's, that should last us forever. And hopefully we don't have to go back there very soon. Because right now we're just not really using Elytras, we don't need them. We have our horse, and that's mostly all that matters. We just need to put a little bit more books in there so we can get level 30. And we can start trying to get... A little bit of good upgrade star stuff. It doesn't really matter right now, but we can we can just do that. So let's see what we get. At first, it's nothing very good, but I check with the one and we get fortune three. So we just use that grindstone right there, and we get basically a perfect one. It doesn't have silk touch, but right now it doesn't matter. It does use. We don't have a good way to get levels because we mostly trade with that one villager in the hole. That villager needs to get out the hole soon. But now that we have this, we can go in here and actually start mining. We've built this a while ago and just have not went mining. We actually we get a good strip of diamonds, giving us about 20. And basically we just we just turn back from there. We we peaked right there, so I just didn't worry about even mining even more I remember we got like 50 things of iron and that's about it we just got that's actually a good bit for now and hopefully later we can get some more just so we can I don't know make a beacon with it cuz there's not really much to do with it we, we start working on this getting an easy way in and out which I don't know why we took this on to do. It took like five minutes. And it was about. This was about day 86. Honestly, I was just finding stuff to do. While I was giving. I was getting an idea what we can like. Do at the end for a big bang. Which I get the idea. And I'm not going to spoil it right now, but. <laughs> that's not. 
it wasn't very difficult as I thought it would be. Soon you're actually gonna see a little change. It's about day 90 and we still have 20 minutes left, so I ended up taking a slower pace, showing more, and just having it be more personal because I skipped over a lot. And a lot of it was just villagers, which I probably shouldn't have done, but I did. So we're gonna try to make more pizzazz in this last bit we have. So we started this pizzazz by placing more logs. We've used so much uh, the jungle wood in this base, but it's it's mostly been what I was I wanted. It's more outside, which I always prefer to do because when I build a base, you can see in the couple episodes I made before the world messed up. We built a base, but I never really went into it because I spend most of my time outside, which I've noticed, and I've used that to change how I play and start building more stuff outside so we just don't have these big monuments just not used the most stuff we got with that is like that yacht which is mostly just a, a cool little place we get our I actually made this little boat thing in here not a little pool in here just add a little bit of decoration the mangrove I just thought would give it a good little bit of color and we we actually fill it up pretty quickly and i have some ideas to put some more little pizzazz in here again add color not sure why i put so much buckets in there i guess i wasn't really thinking but that should be the end of this little yacht section of the video then next i decided to change this little bridge i made it had slabs and I just changed it to stairs not stairs uh, I changed it to fences just because I thought it looked better I don't think I showed me building this bridge mostly because it's born so now we now we starting to expand our little dock it just so we can put a new addition to it so this part of the dock is to put the enchanting table there. I I was thinking about making like floating houses, but I just could not get that to look to not look like a big block. Which we might later we might actually put, start putting some houses. It depends if I can get a good design for it, which right now I cannot do for some reason. This cup actually did get in the way, but we ended up doing this pretty quickly. And we just, we just took the enchanting table and placed it right there. We, we did do a little bit of changing with it. We put some slabs on it just to put a little effort. But mostly, this is going to change over time and just, just look pretty, just look good. I'm not sure where we get the extra bookshelves from, but it happened. And we also have a little bit of storage on the side, which is nice. We didn't have that earlier. Now, day 91, we actually get our, we get our second villager, which we can just throw in the hole too. So, hopefully when we throw in the hole, the other villager doesn't escape, which it's probably gonna do, but it doesn't really matter. We can just try our best, <laughs> which, hopefully, we're, later in this vi vi video, we're gonna get the villagers just... We actually get them in a little bigger hole, not in the middle of all our stuff, which is good. And that's mostly when we start, we start just cutting all the loose ends off and start slowing down mostly. We finally get our looting three that I was looking for. So we get out our sword and start, start getting some weather skeletons hunted. Hopefully this won't take very long and mostly Good thing we got the iron earlier in the video, so we can use it on our anvil and get that, just get it settled with. We should have had an anvil a long time ago, so we're just going to place it by the enchanting table. And let's just put it on. It's cost about six levels. And let's get right into those withers. So we're just going to run here. We should put the... Uh, 
handrails on this. I might do that later, just when we cl start closing some loose ends. About 30 minutes in, around day 92, we just, we started to get our first one. It took a while, but once we get one, it, it started to become a lot easier. We, we get a good amount of blaze rods too, which should make uh, brewing a lot easier. We get it right here, I think. Yeah, we finally get our first, first one after like 20 killed. We got a little bit unlucky, but it ends up ends up doing a little bit better. So, I actually had an idea to speed this up and just show you what all we did. This is about a third of it, maybe even a fourth. So, a lot of it got cut out, just how boring it was. But... We just run around looking for them. We went a long while without even finding one, which was weird, but we got past it. So this was about a good 10 minutes of footage compressed into about a minute and a half, maybe. So we just run around killing stuff. It's basically what it is. It's not much to stay, stay about it. And Hope and soon we get that third wither skull so we can actually start ramping it up and get our final little boss fight of the video Finally near the start of day 93 we get our last wither skeleton skull. It was in all this chaos So I'm glad I actually found it I was I was busy on running away because we we're about to die We're in a good like we actually got the two hearts, which is the lowest. I've been on this whole thing So that was a pain but we end up getting our last weather skeleton skull. And so we just we just dig into the wall. Just to make sure we're good. And let's actually look at this uh analytics to see how much we ended up killing. My guess was around like four like fifty or sixty. But it ended up being a little lower. It ended up being like forty, which isn't bad at the end of the day. But it's I killed 93 places, which is the bad part. So we just got straight out of it, and we just didn't do no dilly dallying. We got straight to the fight. I'm not sure how hard this fight was when we did it. We just have to dig. We have to dig a little bit out to make sure stuff safe. Cause I know the the bedrock weather is a lot stronger than this one. Cause that one. It, that one's messed up, messed with me a lot. So I'm gonna take a little bit more precautions than usual. We ended up finding, I we actually, I think we found two str strips of diamonds while doing this, which is pretty nice. And we actually, we end up leaving this place with a nether star and about 30 diamonds, which is a big pro. I think this was, yeah, this was the eight strip, which got us about like. Probably like 30 diamonds. Silk touch probably useful. So we can actually start like stoning those up. But we get our we get a little hut built down here. And we just get these skeleton skulls get done real quickly. Now we got now that we got that, it's mostly just backing up and hitting it now. Later we can actually do some funner stuff with it. I know there's ways to cheese it. I didn't do that. I didn't even have a a bow for this, which would have been useful, but honestly, we did not need it. We I don't think we got below five heart. Now we actually finally got this wither in. We can actually start finding it. I'm not sure why the health bar didn't record, which that might be a setting out to change. If anybody knows, put that down in the comments. And so I think we're around the half bar. It's real annoying that we don't. Yes, there he is. First, I thought it was gonna like explode and start freaking out like the like the bed arc wither does, but it doesn't. We just back up and hit it like usual. So good thing we actually got the whole fight in this because a lot of times we actually ruin it. And I think we actually find something. Yeah, I see something in the back end. It looks like looks like it says don't forget to subscribe, which I'm not sure how I missed that, but. I think we're gonna go back for it later. So now 
we actually get some obsidian in here which we didn't need very much we've been mining this lava patch for this whole video and i i don't know when it's going to be done with i think we probably have like 20 more pieces in here so we're just going to keep going back here till it's done which it's it's been a big help during this whole video having that obsidian like a walk away it's actually right by our farm we can see here we get some sand in here we get that done we finally get our beacon this this is our like final main thing we're gonna do so we just place it up here because we have nowhere else to place it i think it looks nice it gives a little light up here but now let's start to let's start to do some more we got our big mission and just it's time to cl close some loose ends mostly and we gotta we gotta work in those villagers we have to we we have to get some storage in our and in, in our little place and let's just do that real we start this off by putting some barrels in the silo just to get a little bit of storage in here it's hopefully we actually use this i have a problem with not using builds i use and just like just putting stuff outside which hopefully i can fix it with this and we go straight to start we go straight to getting our wheat and pumpkins harvested soon we can actually start expanding this farm i'm not sure how we're gonna do it because I know some automatic farms under here. I was talking about that earlier. And mostly it can just save us a lot of time. So let's we just get that up in here. And we get a little bit of storage in. Which was pretty useful. We got some. We actually did some designing with our diamonds. And now we're going to work on our villagers. We dig a big hole in the ground just to place them there. Because... They've been in the middle of where we've been working the whole time. So now, again, it's time to close these ends. And one thing I forgot was a ladder. So we did that. We we dug a hole through here. But that, that did get patched up later. I didn't just leave it like that, which... If I didn't patch it up quickly, I would have. A main part of this is going to be getting these villagers in here. So we sh we show you most of the first one, but the second one, the second one we just skipped through because it's a pain just to work with these for like a couple minutes like I did. But I just noticed I went there exactly the wrong way. I thought I thought I forgot to cut a bit of sand. Nope, I just failed. And we get them in the hole real quick. Just need to get this little wall around here to make it safer because I've had villagers run away from me all the time and we get her we finally get our first one in the hole it was a pain but we use this water little trick and he's down there safely i did not put any light down there did i oh i'm gonna have to change that and hopefully they're back by the next video and if they're not it's not gonna be the worst thing in the world it's gonna be a pain if they're not i'm probably not gonna show it i'm just gonna throw some new ones down there and act like nothing happened so I guess you guys are never going to know what happened. And quickly, we got the second villager in here. Which was lucky. I ended up patching this stuff off camera. I did a little bit on here. Oh, I guess I just did record. I thought I forgot to. Of course, we patched it up. Just so it doesn't look so ugly. And, and soon we're going to actually start lining this place up. And getting our villagers done so we can start working on other stuff. These last couple days, it's just going to be me finishing stuff, patching it up. So first, we ended up cutting down these half-cut trees. There's about two, and I got most of them done. And I took all our emeralds, and I finished our little throne we're building over here for later. We sat in it like we should. Then, I went to the nether. I got her dog back. He was just stuck there for some reason. It has happened a lot. He just liked to travel to the portal. Then I got some cobblestone slabs to start building our 
bridge fully. I got it done after like 10 minutes. Then later I started to put some patches onto the silo, giving it windows and a door and going up here and fixing the floor just raising it up one bit it didn't take very long and we actually used the same amount of resources then we took the ground and tore it up and put a granite flooring just because i look, thought it looked different and pretty fun and it would match so i just put that in which did it they look pretty good. It could use it could used to be polished, but I forgot to do that, so it doesn't really matter. So this is how our style looks right now. It's gonna change. Then I took these beds from the villagers over here and brought them to the villagers in the hole just so they could sleep. And finally, I put some finishing touches on the dock for right now, giving them some uh, fences. Just so, just so it looked better. I thought about doing that. I finally did. And then, finally, when it, I actually ended up putting some more shuriken around. So if we ever needed fireworks, it'd be there just like that. And now it's around day 99. So let's get right into day 100. And that's our 100th day. Let's check. Yep, day 100. We finally made it. And let's just, let's take a second to sit down. We have a little cake right here. And let's get our dog higher up. Well, he can just do what he does. Let's see, let's see how our yacht actually looked out. I, I didn't, we might keep the beacon there. It looks pretty nice. Get might be like GPS. This gives it a more luxury look. It has like a more rounded bottom, which I didn't mean to do, but it doesn't look bad. I might change it if I want to. Now let's we have our cake. I I'm not sure I'm gonna eat this. It might just be our hundred days cake. We can have one each time we do a hundred days. It's not much, but we we're showing what we can honestly do in that time. We got our dock done. We actually expanded it quite a bit. Even have this little open area, like I said I wanted to do. Keep it more outside. And I have some storage right here, which is useful. And we actually have, we're actually at level 30. That's pretty fun. Let's get a horse so we can ride around it with them. We actually never found a name tag to name all our stuff, I guess. If you have a name idea, just put it in the comments below. And we might be able to do that next time. We have all we have all these blaze rods. I actually have this enchanted golden apple. Which I'm not gonna eat. But I just thought it was neat. Let's see, what else have we done? We've gone over here. We had we actually did this pretty recently. We had this little marker for it, which is, I think was pretty cool. It kinda looks like a prison bars, but it's basically, basically what it is. And pretty sure our bridge looks pretty nice for what it is. It's it's simple. It's supposed to be simple. I'm stuck. Let's let's get our way over here. And this path was one of the best things we get then. And this well actually ended up being pretty good. Thinking I didn't know what to do with it. And this farm area. We got to take down these trees. So it's actually open. These vines have overgrown. But it's starting to fill out. We have some path right here. And overall we're going to expand this way. This way. But that's for next time. We can just watch. We can just walk around and reminisce. This path, it was a pain to build, but it's well worth it. Let's take one last path down here for this episode. There. Let's let's go while we're on our way to this bridge. It's not the prettiest thing, but it would do. And we we've neglected this side. 
haven't done much with it recently. We have a lot of bamboo just sitting around. We have all these villagers. We haven't touched them in a while. Let's let's harvest the bamboo for one last time. I remember doing this like a month ago. I've not harvested this bamboo in forever. Our way of getting wood, the trees were a big improvement than this. We got a lot more a lot quicker. But this this was nice when we had it. We should probably bring some more over to our main base. But we can we can plan that for later. Let's get some of this. We one good thing is to start getting these guys out of the little mess they created. It'd be nice actually to bring an armadillo over here. Because next update should have more should the next update should be in the next video. Right now it's June twelfth. So the next day's the update. Hopefully I can get this out by then. I have most of the video done. And now I'm just reminiscing on the day. Let's see how much sticks they ended up getting us. Uh let I'm guessing about three stacks. Which it wasn't a lot of work. We've torn through a lot of stone swords to get that. We can trade it to him. Hachi. That's useful. That was a useful mod I put. That's one good thing about Java. If you find something, you just change it. Which which I couldn't really do when I was played better a couple episodes ago. So this war would give us a good change of pace. And let us have a different different gameplay, honestly. Not go super fast and just take it slow and just do stuff as I think I'm, I'm wanting to do it. That's mostly what this video is about. Seeing what I can get done without planning anything. The, the only thing I had ideas what I wanted to, how I wanted to build more tropical. We've kind of done that. It's kind of just been survival, honestly. I wanted to get more like trees in here, like custom made trees, but. That didn't happen, so we can have like a video specifically for that. That would be nice. I'm thinking about having like longer videos like this one and some smaller ones about like a specific topic. Like one about if we ever do a weather farm, blaze farms, uh, in rating. That would be a good one to do it for because we still don't have an elytra. We still have a lot to do. And we have all the time to do it. We're not going to do it this episode. We're just going to sit back, harvest some bamboo, and watch how it goes. We had a, we had two dogs. The other one died from... I somehow fought... Oh, he drowned. He drowned. Not exactly how. Pretty sure I was working the dock one day. And... It, it was under the water for too long. So let's let's see if we can actually get one. Do I got any bones on me? I know we have some by the 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 chest over there from the wither skeletons. Now that we got our bones, let's go look for some. Do we have a boat somewhere? I don't I think we lost our boats when we were doing the uh, the stuff with the villagers. So I'm just gonna make my own way over there. We haven't been able to find the dog, but we can watch the sunset and make our way back there. We might find one in the savannah. And we can just have our last night in this episode, which I'll be back when either at a dog or at the boat. Now we can sleep one time, and that's all, folks. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I have more like this in my playlist down below.